Hi, I'm Papa Tone. Do interrupted prints work well on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon 3D printer? Well... Spoiler alert, the results that I've been getting here on interrupted prints in my workshop are pretty mixed. Let's get into it. Over the last few days, I've printed a pretty big chunk of my 3D printed droid project in ABS. This is after many months of failed prints and frustrating repair attempts on my old 3D printer. It was really exciting to be printing fast and in high quality again. To celebrate, I went out carousing all around the neighborhood. Ooh, goes the dynamite! At about 8.30 p.m., the filament on the ABS spool ran out, stopping the part that was in progress about halfway through. It is now uh, about 3 p.m. the following day, so this is the printer's been sitting here, turned on for all that time waiting for this filament to be replaced. So, how do we fix Printus Interruptus? In this case, we ran out of filament. So, we're going to replace our filament in the AMS with another roll of ABS. This is a fairly simple process that consists of removing the replacement filament out of its box, taking the filament out of its bag, removing the desiccant from the roll, getting the spool out of the AMS, taking the spool apart, removing the old cardboard tube, placing the new roll on the spool, removing the plastic tape from around the roll, trimming the roll of any crinkled filament, and placing the roll back into the AMS. Now, will it auto load and start printing? I don't know, let's see. Once the filament was back in the ABS, everything went basically the way it should. There was one little hiccup in that the part being printed ended up with a little bit of loose filament attached to it. This might have been the result of a slightly failed purge when the filament ran out. I don't really know, but it wasn't a big problem. When I noticed it, I paused the print, grabbed a flush cutter, snipped off the filament scrap, and started the print back up again. None of this was difficult, and if it seems like a lot of steps, it's not. It's basically, you know, pretty darn good, considering the fact that this print was stopped for well over 12 hours. What is the final result of our interrupted print? Let's take a look. It does look like we had a little bit of a layer shift here. We have kind of a seam, um, but that's no big deal. It, it is where the print restarted. Now, I don't know how strong that is, so let's just test. Even though the part had a visible seam, it held up much better than I thought it would throwing it on concrete and smacking it against a brick wall. I did rejoin the broken pieces using 2P10 glue and the bond seems solid. But since reprinting the part would only take 3 hours and 30 minutes, I decided to do that. The time that I would have spent filling and sanding the seam in the continued print is better spent elsewhere. <coughs> Weirdly, after the interrupted print, I had a first layer that I didn't like the look of. So I decided to stop again and recalibrate the printer, which doesn't take that long, and makes all kinds of fun sounds while it's running. All right, that's about it for now. Uh, as you can see, as I said at the beginning, results for interrupted prints for me here have been mixed. There are a few different factors that uh, may be contributing. I'm only printing an ABS plastic. ABS can shrink when it's finished printing, so as it cools off. So maybe the filament going on to the interrupted print is hotter and so it's slightly a different size when it goes on, I don't know. Um, I also have some sort of strange environmental factors here in my shop. Uh, I have a fair amount of humidity in the air here sometimes and even though I have factors in place to try to limit that, um, it could be having an effect on the plastic as well. By and large, could you continue with an interrupted print? Sure. Is it worth the time? As a result of the fast speed of the printer itself, not really. Um, you know, if you're gonna be finishing a seam and getting it to be invisible, 
you're going to have to put some filler on. I use plastic wood because it's easy to work with and works pretty quick, dries pretty quick. But then you sand and then you prime and then you put some more filler on and then you sand and then you prime. And if you let all that dry properly, you're talking a couple of days at least just to get rid of that line. Yes, you can do it faster by applying heat and some other things. But, you know, the truth is reprinting the part only took three and a half hours. That's, that's way less time than the post-production um, that I've seen would be necessary so far requires. So um, that's basically it for now. I know this video kind of went in some unusual directions, but uh, I had a good time making it. I hope you're doing good out there. Remember to like yourself as much as you possibly can every single day. Share your respect and kindness with people around you, even if you don't agree with them. And subscribe to Periodicals of Note. Fill your head with good, solid, empirical information. All right, everybody. I'm Papa Tone. Take care.